privileged and very happy to say a few words on this very important occasion connecting with the youth, bringing forward the memory of our great saint and teacher, Swami Vivekananda. I have been fortunate that I have worked in a company from my day of passing out from IIT, a company that builds India. And one of the things I have learnt is that A, you must have pride for your country, you must try to have pride for your company, and then comes pride for yourself. And I think what Vivekananda Ji also taught was that as Indians, we should really take our message to the world. We should be proud of the legacy and tradition that India has got. It's one of the oldest civilizations. And be proud to be an Indian and take the message abroad and have the things that are um, scriptures give us that one should have bhakti. Bhakti is a combination of intelligence, hard work. When intelligence and hard work gets into the mind, it gives you wisdom to do in action a lot of good things. Intelligence without bhakti is of no use. So I think the message I'd like to give you is work with hard work, devotion, passion and pride for your country, which is very good for the modern youth, is obviously change is always going to happen in life. To progress, you have to change. You have to be by naturally being drawn into more materialism. But while you have to adapt and grow with change, you cannot forget your roots. Roots are linked to values, ethics and culture. So I think as one goes into, from the old industrial age, people like me who have worked in industry have been more in the infrastructure and in the, what they call the old world economy. Most of you would go into the new world economy, where you are working much more in an IT and digital oriented manner. But however, remember, to build a country you need both the understanding of the old world economy and the tools of the new world economy. And you each one should have pride in your work, irrespective of what work that you do. The other important area is to be multicultural. I think today the world is a very globalized place. Thanks to internet, thanks to Skype, thanks to WhatsApp, thanks to the various tools that are available, each one is connected to social networks like Facebook and so on around the world. So you have a large community that you are able to reach out to. Therefore the responsibility also comes with that. To reach out in a meaningful manner, to reach out in a way that you are able to interact, uh, learning each other's culture, either each other's uh, values and build a global community which is peaceful and which is also able to bring the latest learnings from each of these countries to the other country. I have a great hope that the youth, which always is a generation better than the previous generation, will take this great universal learning of Swami Yogananji, which spread a universal message and not linked to any one country, it, to great uh, heights as you go along, using the IT uh, uh, sort of strength, using the latest digital tools, using the latest social networking possibilities, so that all of us can really learn so much from a great learned person who, who so many years ago was able to reach out and talk of things which are even relevant today. I think the greatest thing about people who leave a legacy is that they speak of universal truth which has no time limits, it has no boundaries. And I'm very happy to connect with you all and I wish you all a very a prosperous and forward looking journey in your own careers and apart from your own work, you also have a work life balance where you are able to imbibe some of the good learnings of Swami Vivekananda and other spiritual masters and take this to the world. People who transmit and give opportunities 
to us and therefore to connect with you are also very important. One such very good person whom I have known over the last 10 years is Dr. Rajesh Sarvagnya. He is fully de dedicated, passionate, devoted to the single cause. People who are able to persevere on a single cause are the people who finally succeed. It's, it's not easy. Uh, you can have many ideas, but unless one takes a single message, a single idea, a single mission with full passion and devotion to the total end is when you have success. So I must compliment Dr. Rajesh Varignya, who has, with single-minded devotion, I've been seeing him over the last two years on this specific mission, although I've known him for about eight, ten years, how he has passionately been able to continuously connect with people who can assist him in spreading this message, connect with you all directly and I really sincerely wish this great mission all success through the efforts of Dr. Rajesh and look forward to him taking the Swami Vivekananda idealism to all of you. Sir, one minute. One minute. Okay. One minute. 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 One